everybody, Crazy Aaron here, and I am so excited to be making another one of these videos to show you my newest, latest, and greatest, the Hypercolor Mixed By Me Thinking Putty Kit. You've played with the Glow in the Dark Kit. You probably played with the Holographic Kit. The Hypercolor Kit takes it up to a whole nother level. All kinds of secrets and tricks I had in my lab, I was almost afraid to show you, but after months and months of hard work, I was able to figure out a way to distill it all down into something that you can do at home. So let's take a look at what comes inside. Just like the other kits, Glow in the Dark and Holographic, you get a little tin, and inside are six baggies. The six color concentrates. They're different in every kit, and in this one, they bring hypercolor magic to the thinking putty that you're gonna mix. It comes with a mat that has all different kinds of instructions and formulas, all different things you can do. It's got two sides. I highly encourage you to take a look and read this. It has a lot more information than the other kits. It comes with the five tins, and inside each is clear, uncolored putty ready for you to mix into something magical. And it comes with the colored pencils so that when you're done mixing, you can color them in and it'll look just like a Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty that you bought in the store. Give it a name. I am really excited about this kit. I am expecting that you will come up with things that even I haven't imagined in all the years I've been making hypercolor putties because you're gonna bring a whole new perspective and it's gonna make all of our thinking putty better once we see those fantastic ideas. So bring it on. Now, let's talk about what is a hypercolor. Hypercolor is a word that means that it's one color at one temperature and another color at a different temperature. So this is, for example, amethyst blush. Maybe some of you have it. I've heard from many of you that it's your favorite color. Amethyst blush is purple when it's room temperature. And I'm gonna warm it up, and I'm gonna show you my favorite way to warm up putty, and that is stretching and folding. Not only is the warmth from your hand going to impart into the putty to help warm it up, but also the stretching and folding creates friction, and that friction is going to warm up the putty even faster. I do see it. You know, one of my favorite things to do with all hypercolor putties is once you start to make a change, you can kind of tear it and you see in the inside, you get this mottled effect. You can see the different colors because it's not all the same temperature. There's obviously some variation in temperature between them. Okay, so now our amethyst blush is pink and you could see before it was purple. That's a hypercolor. One of the th important things to note is that the room temperature color is generally, I don't want to use the word darker, but it's a deeper, richer color. And the warm color, the body temperature color, is generally a lighter, less saturated color. Saturation is a word that talks about how much color is in that color compared to, say, just pure white. So pink is a less saturated color than a deep maroon red. And you can see that here. Purple generally is a more saturated color. Lilac, you could think of a flower or something, generally is a less saturated color. It's a little closer to white, a little more pastel. Think about your Easter colors. They're all pastels, they're not very saturated. So maybe you're gonna learn something if you watch this video. You can learn some color theory and you can teach your art teacher a thing or two once they bring that up in class. So I'm gonna take this, we don't need this big thing, I'm just gonna whoop, goodbye. And now we have just our kit in front of us. So let's get started.